G'day, Steve Morgan here for Fishing Monthly Magazines and for www.tacklejunkie.fish and we're bringing you the latest and greatest new products on the Australian market. Now what we've got here from Daiwa today in the mail is an example of their latest topwater bait, a drowned cicada. And of course you can hear these guys in the trees at the moment, they're starting to buzz and over the next few months in Australia, brim and bass anglers are going to be enjoying their time fishing with these cicadas. Now these aren't the standard uh, hard bodied cicada that may have uh, one or two hooks on them that we're used to fishing here in Australia. These are actually a soft plastic cicada, so they're actually quite a soft plastic body. They're hyper realistic with a couple of small silicon strands uh, which means that you can either fish these baits either forwards or backwards and uh, I don't read much Japanese but on the back of the pack here it suggests two ways of rigging them, one with a drop shot hook, one with a worm hook. Um, these things are shipping now from Daiwa so they will be in the tackle stores from summer and they cost $14.95 as the recommended retail price for a bag of two. Now you might think well that's pretty expensive for a soft plastic bait but let me tell you these things are very realistic uh, and they're designed to fish in some pretty nasty country without hooking up. So let's rig one up, get it on the water, have a look how it looks compared to a hard bodied cicada, this soft, uh, this soft bodied bait, uh, and let's see how good they look to a fish. Okay, so let's play around with rigging some of these baits. These uh, drowned cicadas come in a standard, uh, like a soft plastic style bag, so you need to, uh, to rip the top like this. Uh, and an important tip is when I like ripping the top of these packets, I don't rip it all the way off because that's just another bit of rubbish that uh, may end up in the water. I leave it attached and you can throw it all the way at once. They're supplied in a little tray which keeps, this, uh, keeps it very flat. And I've picked the white one here to show you how to rig it because it'll, uh, it'll give us some interesting uh, interesting contrast. So the first way we're going to try rigging it is with a, uh, a drop shot hook straight through the tail. Now in the water that's obviously going to sit straight up like this. Uh, alternatively you could rig it with a drop shot hook straight through the nose. The plastic in this bait is actually quite hard uh, so that actually won't pull out unless you have a fish really uh, t-bone that thing and try to run away with it. And the theory is a big bass will eat this thing whole, a big brim even will get the mouth all the way around this thing. Um, pretty weedless, uh, but maybe not 100%. So that's where the worm hook will come in. And this is uh, one of the smallest worm hooks I have for my pink grubbing. Uh, little tiny fella there, it looks like it's just going to fit in. We'll rig this the same way we would rig a soft plastic. Let's get that, uh, pinch it in through the nose pull this worm hook all the way through and then pinch it through the end and so then the live cicada will sit like that. Now that is a truly weedless rig that an Australian bass or a brim skipped up into the mangroves is going to love. So uh, let's get these things on the water, see how they swim. Okay, so we we're all ready to go now. I've got a drop shot hook tied onto here to the uh, cicada and I'm gonna rig it backwards first and see how it swims because I'm really thinking that those two, uh, those two clear wings are gonna give, maybe give it a little bit of action in the water. So I've got this rigged up just on some straight through. Uh, it's, um, I think that's six pounds straight through Unitika silver thread. We'll flick that cicada out. It floats quite nicely on the surface. I'm not getting any real uh, not getting any real jitterbug style action, but it definitely uh, looks like a cicada on the top of the water and it seems like a, uh, a twitch retrieve rather than a straight retrieve is the way to go for these baits. Let's uh, switch him round to the nose and we'll try him there and of course this is the first time I've ever actually fished these myself. I think it's good to have that uh, candid opinion of uh, how they're coming straight out of the box. So I've got him through the nose there now on that drop shot hook. And again, I think the attitude actually is a little bit better in the water here, so, and those little silicon, silicon arms that stick out from the nose, they actually get a real little, a little dip as you twitch it. And to me, this, this angle is a lot uh, more stable in the water. Um, of course, you're gonna have to have a, a fish grab this head first or swallow it totally to get a hook up. It seems very interesting. Uh, let's tie a worm hook on now and try the worm hook. So I'm, um, so I'm just, uh, I've rigged one up on the worm hook here and with the results of my first little test with the drop shot, I've decided to rig it uh, nose first instead of backwards. Seems like the lure likes swimming that way the best. So I've tightened this up here. She's ready to go. Let's see how the, it handles the, the weight of that worm hook. 
Uh, it actually struggles a little bit actually, this thing. She sunk for a start and it seems like it is a very, very slow sink. And this is in fresh water by the way. So we've got a very slow sink there with this worm hook in it. It's a slightly backwards sink, so that lure is actually sinking backwards and when you twitch it, it actually heads back up towards the surface. So I suppose that's worth keeping in mind now. And again, this is the first time that we've put these in the water. If it sits in the surface tension, it'll, it'll float. Let's get it underwater. There you go. It, uh, it sinks very slowly away. So I suppose I'd keep that in mind when you're rigging these baits. That single worm hook keeps it sinking. The drop shot hook makes this lure float. So I suppose in summary, for, uh, for $14.95 for a pack of two, they're a quite expensive soft plastic bait, but they do look hyper-realistic in the water. And I know any brim or bass junkie like myself is gonna have a few of these uh, Daiwa Cicada soft plastic baits in their tackle box this summer. For more information, uh, you can check out daiwaaustralia.com.au. They should be in stores now. And if you're not on the mailing list yet, make sure you get onto www.tacklejunkie.fish and sign up to the mailing list there. We can email you the latest and greatest news about tackle every month.